Test, test, one, two, three.
Welcome to the CIU Sports Network for this softball contest between your CIU Rams and the Columbia College Koalas. Columbia right down the road. If you're not familiar with the area of Columbia, South Carolina, just a few miles down Monticello Road and then off Main Street, and that's where you'll find Columbia College. A single game today and a rare single match between CIU and Columbia as the game two of this series will be played at Columbia in late April. So a little bit of anomaly here in the Appalachian Athletic Conference. The benefit of being close by. This is Kylie Bridgemon, the infielder from Barnwell, South Carolina, who will lead off for the Koalas. Product of Barnwell High School. Sissy Doolittle starts in the circle and she starts things off with a strike to get things going here for the Rams. It's been a beautiful day until about the last 45 minutes when the wind has picked up and cloud coverage coming in. But it's supposed to clear up later and it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow for the Rams doubleheader with Kentucky Christian. Also on the road in CIU Sports, Mon uh, CIU Baseball has had an adjustment to their schedule as they will, and then there's the little pop out on the foul ball by Bridgman, one down here for the Rams. As I was saying, CIU Baseball at Montreat for a three game series, two today, one Monday, because of inclement weather that's supposed to be hitting the mountains of North Carolina over the weekend. So we'll keep an eye up there on Montreat as that one is hit foul. Very close to being fair right there on the third base line. Columbia College coming into this game at 10 and 8 overall has played several of the schools from the USC University of South Carolina system including USC Sumter and Sakahatchee and then in the conference they've played Point Union and a few others split with both Point and Union CIU comes into this after a two game sweep of Montreat earlier this week. CIU are now 13, 16, and 1. So CIU played quite a few more games than the Qualis have. The Rams have played 30 games already this season, while the Koalas have only played 18. That one hit right back to Creel over at third base, and the out is made. So good job there by Caitlin Creel to make the out. So two outs on the board now. As this is Alyssa Diaz, a transfer from Delaware State University. So don't know if she played softball there, but Division I transfer. At the plate now for Columbia. Diaz from the West Coast, Fontana, California. 5'5", five, five, senior infielder. So this is third batter of the game for the Quals. Already two outs in this inning. So Sissy Doolittle having a good start. To this inning, as I say that, that's hitting the gap for a single, and Diaz will get on base. So a base hit for Alyssa Diaz. As one on, two outs here in the first inning. 
Up next for Columbia is Kylie Smith, sophomore out of Goose Creek, South Carolina, by way of Goose Creek High School, so not too far, about an hour and a half down the road in the North Charleston area. That's outside. Ball one. Some other teams in action for CIU Athletics this weekend as well. As that is on the ground in the dirt for ball two. CIU track and field is at Montreat for the Montreat Invitational. Outdoor track and field, their third outdoor meet of the season. And then on Monday, well, they'll have a practice around Sunday as that's hit to center field and caught by Tania Ellis. So that'll end the inning. Four batters faced in the first four. Sissy Doolittle, three outs. As I was saying, men's golf also on the road as they will be at USCB on Monday and Tuesday for a tournament down there in the Low Country. We'll be back with the bottom of the second or bottom of the first inning, excuse me, here on the minute on the CIU Sports Network. Kaylin Creel to lead off here for CIU. That pitch is high for ball one. To start the game for Columbia is Elizabeth Stroud, the senior out of Hartsville, South Carolina. Columbia's got a lot of South Carolina kids on this team, but also spread around a little bit around the country as well. Interestingly enough, it's seems to be either South Carolina or you're from the West Coast. Quite a few people from Nevada, Utah, California, Indiana. So pretty spread out as that'll be out one for, excuse me, Creel is safe at first. So base hit for Kaylin Creel as Robin Andrews up to bat now for CIU. Andrews from Armanda Beach, Florida as Sack Bunt advances one. One out now here in the bottom of the second inning. That pitch is high. 
Ball one. Lauren Baker. The junior transfer out of Windsor, North Carolina. Big swing and a miss there. Brings the count to 1-1. Shannon Patton on deck for the Rams in the four spot. That fouled off will bring the count to 1-2. That's a little outside, ball two. That one hit the center field. Creel thought about it, will stay at second. That'll bring up out number two. Shannon Patton, staple in this CIU lineup. At the plate now for the Rams. Still looking for their, well, for looking for the first run of the game as Patton fouls that off. There's strike one. Stroud looking for her first strikeout of this game. Outside, ball one, one two count now. See if Patton can battle her way back. As she's behind one two. That is hit and that'll be fair. Score one. So the RBI triple for Shannon Patton. So Shannon Patton picks up the RBI triple, and Kaylin Creo will cross home plate. Patton dropped that in in no man's land in the deep right side of right field, right near that first base line. Not sure if the wind helped with that one stay fair, but. Either way, Patton with the triple, and the Rams go up 1-0. It's a good start to this game for CIU, just what Coach Allen is looking for.
So 1-0 here in the top of the second inning. The Rams put one run on the RBI triple from Shen Patton. That one hit to shortstop and caught. That was Lee. That one hit on the ground. Fair, good play from Creel for the out at first. So two quick outs there. Two pitches from Doolittle and two outs on the board here in the top of the second inning. That one fouled off. That's outside a one. Ball two. So 2-2 two, two count now. That one hit foul. Two two count. Outside ball again. That'll bring the count three two. Ball four, so Lee will walk. Excuse me, Hearn will walk. As Madison Wofford, the Kings Tree, South Carolina native. That one hit to deep left field. And one will score on the RBI double. So Watford comes in, hits a shot to left field, ties this one up at 1-1 one -one on the RBI double.
That one hit the left field and caught to end the inning or in the side, excuse me. So Columbia able to even it up at 1-1 as we head to the bottom of the second. That's outside. Ball one. Around the hands of Wilkerson. Four ball two. So Wilkerson walked in her first at bat as this will bring up Macy Dry. Dry had a good series last week against Bryan here at home. Obviously, it wasn't the greatest outing for the Rams overall, especially in game two. But Dry, certainly a bright spot for CIU. Dry in the box for the Rams. Her first at bat of the game. Dry lays down the bunt. The catcher, Kristen Weems, almost got a hand on that little pop off the bat, which would have been an out, but goes just over her head. That is popped up foul.
That fouled off as well. So 0 2 now. Wind picking up here down at the CIU softball field. And there's the first strikeout of the game for Stroud as Dry sits down and Megan Stolzenbach up to bat now for the Rams. Stolzenbach shows bunt and then pulls back. Wilkerson stays over at first. That one gets in there for strike one one. One one pitch. That bunt is popped up, almost caught again by the catcher. One two now. Pitch from Stroud. That is just outside. 2-2. Two -two. Side as well, full count now. That is popped up and caught for out number two. Wilkerson stays at first. Tanaya Ellis at bat now for the Rams. So Wilkerson over at first. Ellis, the top of the order for CIU. That is hit and very close to fair. But we'll fall foul. Oh one. So our score still knotted at one one. Big swing and a miss there. Wilkerson gets back to the bag over at first. Right 
That one hit up the middle. Base hit for Ellis. Wilkerson gets over to second. As the leadoff hitter, Kaylin Creel, back up to the plate for CIU. Creel represents that run, that only run of the contest so far for the Rams. Scored that off the Shannon Patton triple. Outside, four strike one. That one hit over onto Sessions Field, foul. That one in the dirt, Ellis thought about going. But right, Wilkerson would have had to go too. Making the odds of a pickoff a little higher. Ellis can beat about any throw to the bag, but that is hit, a little short popper over to shortstop and the out is made. So Rams leave two stranded in the second inning as we will head to the top of the third here on the CIU Sports Network. Oh, Sissy Doolittle still in the circle for CIU. There's the bunt. Nice, well-placed bunt, but the out is, oh, they will say that it's safe. Surprising call there from the umpire as certainly looked like, I don't know, I guess Andrews may not have been on the bag when she made the catch on the throw. So that was a leadoff hitter for Columbia. There's the out made at first. Runner does advance over to second. See how you're going to need to have a defensive mindset here. As this is Alyssa Diaz. Back up for the Koalas. She's one for one today. Right 
think I hear a chance of Go Beyonce from the Columbia College dugout. Definitely one I haven't heard so far this year. As there is a walk, so those chants must have worked as runners on first and second for Columbia. And Coach Allen will talk with her infield and pitcher as we'll take a quick break here on the CIA Sports Network. Kylie Smith back at the plate. That one hit to Creel, who makes the play one out at first. And then the errant throw will allow one to advance. So fielder's choice put out at third, and then the error over at first. Apologize, I had to step away for a minute there, but while I was gone, the Koalas put up two runs, take the 3-1 lead as the Rams trail here and we will as we head to the bottom of the third inning. So Robin Andrews at the plate trying to help 
See how you climb out of this hole. Ball one. That is fouled off. Bring it on one now. That's called a strike, one, two. That one hit back to the mound. Out is made, so one out here in the bottom of the third. Let's take a quick look at what's going on over in Montreat. As we are in the top of the fourth, the Rams down 7-4, but threatening to score over in North Carolina. That is CAU baseball down 7-4 to Montreat in the top of the fourth inning. That gets in there for the strike, 1-1. One, one. That hit in the air will fall foul. Makes it 1-2 count now. Shen Patton up next after Lauren Baker. So Patton was the one that scored that lone run, or excuse me, picked up the RBI on that lone run in the first inning as she recorded a triple. So she might just be the spark plug. The Rams need to fight their way out of this hole as that is fouled off 1-2. That one's high. 2-2 two -two now. A 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing there from Baker goes off the mask of the ump. Hopefully he's okay. Everybody's going to shake it off a little bit. Oh, the 2-2 pitch. Big swing and a miss there from Baker. That brings up out number two.
That one hit to left field, off the fence. So Patton with a or triple and then a double. So Shannon Patton having herself quite the afternoon. Two for two, an RBI, a triple, and a double is her stat line. And so it's up to her teammate, Josie Self, to come in and see if she can bring Patton home. There's the pitch, strike one. One one count. Stroud with a strikeout today. Sorry, two strikeouts today actually. As that's ball two. That one hit to center field and caught. Four out number three as the Rams still trail 3-1 as we will head to the top of the fourth inning. One ball, no strikes, as that is outside. Oh, 2 0 now. That one hit to center field and caught by Ellis. Out number one. One out, nobody on. Rams down 3-1 here in the top of the fourth inning. Quick check over on CIU baseball. And the Rams have been able to put up, were able to put up one run in the top of the fourth. So they still trail 5-7. Also getting some news from Montreat, North Carolina as Blake Rimmer has won the pole vault per usual at that event. 
And Megan Miller had her PR in the long jump. Finally, Dazani Hinton set the school record in the women's hammer. So some success for CIU track and field at the Montreat Invitational. They'll be back there tomorrow for day two. So one ball, no strikes, as this is Mary Sanders at bat for Columbia. That one is a line out right to the third baseman, Kaylin Creel. So quick three outs. Rams now with another opportunity to pull back into this contest. Down 3-1, heading to the bottom of the fourth inning. So Wilkerson out on base her last time at bat on the walk. Try to get some offense going for CIU here. That one is low for ball one. So, Wilkerson trying to reach base on balls in consecutive trips to the plate. Three-one. That one play would have been a tough play as Wilkerson will see what the scorekeeper decides, but that should go down as a hit as put it in the gap there. So Macy Dry back up for the Rams. Ah! 
Try shows bunt. That one is fouled up. And that'll make the count 0-2. Oh and a little outside, ball one. One two count here. Wilkerson over at first. That one popped up. Batter reaches on the fielder's choice as Wilkerson will be out at second. So one out, one on for the Rams over at first. That is dry as Megan Stolzenbach up to the plate now. Blunt is laid down. That is a foul. I want to make it 2 1 on the foul bunt. Strike one. Excuse me, strike two. Two two now. That's right, there was one foul ball. That one popped up and caught by the shortstop. So two outs. Naya Ellis, who had a hit her last time up. At bat now for CIU. is everywhere down here at the CIU softball field. When it's baseball season and softball season, it's also pollen season here in the Midlands of South Carolina. Quick 
Quick time is called as there'll be a discussion with Stroud in the circle. We'll be back in just a minute on the CIE Sports Network. Two one, excuse me, three one. After that pitch, that one is fouled off. That one hit right to the first baseman. The play is made out number three as we will go to the top of the fifth. The Rams still down 3-1. That one hit back to the pitcher. And tough, tough break there on the bounce as Brigham will reach first. So one runner on, nobody out. I've been told by several people to shout out Riley Grigsby, son of assistant AD Scotty Grigsby as he's watching his first CIU athletic event. So shout out to Riley Grigsby 
not only the son of assistant AD Riley Grigsby, he's also the grandson of associate athletic director Kim Abbott, or affectionately known to Riley as Mama Kim. Air strike one. Oh, one count now. Double play opportunity, but there's one just to Andrews. That'll bring up out number two. One runner on first here in the top of this fifth inning. Runner will go on the pass ball and reach second. So that one lost in the sun by Baker. And runner will score. That's Kylie Smith who reached first. That'll go foul. One one count now. That one hit over towards the Columbia dugout. That one caught by Baker, so nice grab there by the shortstop. So not before the Rams give up one run. CAU down 4-1, heading to the bottom of the fifth inning.
Creel back up for CIU. That one popped to right field and caught for the out on the first pitch. So Robin Andrews batting in the two hole. At up to bat now for CIU. There's strike one. One one count. Nobody on. That one popped up and caught for out number two as Lauren Baker. Makes her way back to the plate for the Rams. Been impressed with this Columbia College squad so far. Definitely some marked improvement from the past few years as that is fouled off. One, two outs. Stroud with the pitch. That is popped up and caught for out number three. So we will head to the sixth inning. The Rams down 4-1 here on the CIU Sports Network. Oh, one. one that one off the bat of Webb, and she's a little shaken up here. Came off the bat right towards the batting helmet. Hopefully she's okay. Looks like she'll shake it off. And make sure everybody's okay here.
That one hit on the ground. Foul. Stays at 0-2. Top of the six. Rams down 4-1. But CIU with two opportunities, at least two opportunities to make up some ground as we are in the top of the sixth inning. At just outside. That is hit to the wall as Webb will round second all the way to third. So the triple from Winter Webb. As that was a shot over the head of Tanai Ellis out in center field. Goes off the F in softball on that fence out there. As looks like Coach Allen is going to make a change here. And she will as Mary Estrak will relieve Sissy Doolittle. While Estrak warms up, we'll be back in just a minute here on the CIU Sports Network. That one hit, popped up, and caught by Andrews. So one out now on the board. Again, runner over at third is Webb, who hit that triple. Rams really need to keep some runs off the board, if possible, here in this sixth inning. So Madison Walford, Wadford, excuse me, King Street native, tries to lay down the bun, and that is going to be foul. That's line drive back to Creel, who makes the grab for out number two. So Mary Astrick comes in, and two outs pretty much immediately as the freshman, or excuse me, the sophomore in the circle. Rams trying to claw their way back in this one. So Mary Sanders. Cardova, South Carolina, Edisto High School product at the plate. Sanders so far today, 0 for 2. As that is hit back to Lauren Baker and Great throw 
But an even better catch over there by Patton to snag it and bring it down as Columbia wants to discuss for just a minute here. So Coach Newberry making her case to the ump, but he is firm in the call of out as bottom of the sixth inning. Here we come with the Rams down for one. Shannon Patton, who has had one of her best outings so far of the season. <laughs> a double and a triple, two for two. That's outside for ball one. That one hit in the gap. So Patton three for three on the day for Shannon Patton as that'll bring up Josie Self. So the Rams just need some help from some other people as Patton leading the way for CIU. That one hit in the gap as well as Self reaches first. And Patton over at second. So the Rams working, trying to make a comeback here. And looks like we'll get a pitch runner over here for, I believe it'll be Patton. We'll see. So this will be Allie Clapp, who is pinch running for Shannon Patton. Our first look at Clapp today. The sophomore from Clover, South Carolina. Clover up near the Charlotte area. And Margaret Schubert, who is also pinch running, she'll come in for self.
So new pitcher for uh, Columbia is number four, Jenna Helt Heath, the junior from Aiken, South Carolina. So uh, Wilkerson represents the tying run. And there it is as Wilkerson hits the three-run homer to tie this one up for CIU as the Rams tied up one pitch from Heath, and that is gone as Haley Wilkerson blasts one to center field to give or to tie this game at four to four. So this will be Madison Medlin who is pinch hitting here for the Rams on deck as Kendall Parker at bat for CIU. That one is high, so we will see how Jenna Heath responds to that home run that tied this contest at four piece. That one's high. One, one. Fouled off. Two, two. That's way outside for ball three. Three, two, full count here. Kendall Parker representing the go-ahead run for CIU. That one is fouled off. Full count, Parker representing the go-ahead run for the Rams. Fouled off again. Parker is walked. So now Madison Medlin. So she's pitch hitting for the Rams. Kendall Parker over at first. We'll take a quick break while Coach Allen and the ump discuss these subs.
So Macy Dry pinch running at first for CIU. Another strike one. That one hit back to the pitcher. Out is made at first, but drive will advance over to second. So if you're the Rams, all you got to do is just get one run home, and then Mary Aster it's up to Mary Asterix to come in and get the win for CIU. But again, we got to get there first. Got to get this run in if you're CIU. One ball, no strikes. Here's the second pitch against Ellis. Ellis lays down the bunt. Runner advances to third. So good job by tonight. Ellis did her job. And now it's up to Kaitlyn Creel to at least get this one in play and put the Rams up a run. So two outs as Creel with the opportunity to put CIU up by a run. Now, if you're Columbia College, you got to be thinking Dry might go on a pass ball as well, which in softball with these shorter base pass, much easier to reach on those pass balls than maybe in baseball. So one strike. That is hit on the ground, and the out is made. So CAU able to tie it up, can't take the lead, as we will head to the top of the seventh here on the CAU Sports Network. Kylie Bridges up to bat for Columbia to try to put the Qualls ahead. So 1-0. That one. A line drive hit towards short, gets by Baker. So Bridgham will reach first. Oh, 
as Weems at the plate for Columbia. There's the bunt lay down. Rudder advances over to second. That'll bring up Alyssa Diaz. Gets in there. That'll be called a ball, though. So 1 0. That'll be strike one. So 1 1 count. One pitch. That's low. Called a ball. Over in Montreal, North Carolina, CIU has tied the game with the Cavaliers 7 7. As that game is in the bottom of the seventh inning, it's a seven inning game. Two, two, one out. Runner on second here is the situation Mary Asterix faces in the circle as that was low in the dirt for ball three. That one hit to Creel. And runner reaches third. Double play opportunity was there. Throw not quite in time. So Kylie Smith. At bat now for Columbia. That one in the dirt. Again, you got to be careful here on the pass ball if you're CIU. That ball was swung at, so strike one. That is hit foul. So 
So two strikes. The 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. Still 0-2, runner on third, two outs. That pitch is very high, 1-2. That one hit on the ground. Throw is made by Creole to Patton, so good job there to keep Columbia off the board. Now the Rams with a chance to win it in the bottom of the seventh here on the CAU Sports Network. So Coach Allen trying to spur on this offense, and that will be caught in center field. Good play there by the center fielder. That will bring up Lauren Baker. Gets in there for strike one. Outside, one one now. That's fouled off, opening up 1-2. Shin Patton's on deck. Patton has a triple, a double, and a single in that order today as she's three for three. <laughs> the 
That is hit foul, stays 1-2. So Baker discusses with Coach Allen over there. So one, two, nobody on, one out here in the bottom of the seventh. Good out. That pitch is high. And they'll say that's a strikeout as Baker goes down, bringing up Shannon Patton, as I mentioned before. Single, double, and a triple already for Patton today. Just needs that home run. Strike one, oh one. That pitch is high, one one. Checking in on CIU baseball. Bottom of the eighth inning over there. Still 7-7. Seven, seven. That one hit in the dirt and out is made. So we will head to the top of the eighth inning. So some extra softball here on this Friday evening as our score tied at 4-4. Four, four. That one hit past Andrews. That was a well hit ball. So runner on first. As this brings up Webb. Webb hit that shot 
to center field early on. She has a triple today. That ball is well high. Runner gets over to second. So one ball. Or excuse me, two balls, no strikes. Runner on second. There's the bunt laid down. So runner will advance over to third. Jenna Heath who advanced over to third as this will bring up Alyssa Diaz. Coach Newberry making a change. Let's see, this is Madison Hearn. Excuse me, I said Diaz earlier. This is Hearn. She is in her first at bat, I believe. Now, excuse me, pinch runner. Hearn is 0 for 2, or 1 for, no, 0 for 2, reached on a walk and scored a run so far today. And there's a pinch runner over at third now. That's ball one. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Butt laid down. So that'll be go down as a foul ball. 1 1. Tough to see from this angle. One, if a ball had hit the batter right off of the bat, which didn't look like it must have. Bounced off the ground. So it came back up. So it'll just be a foul ball. 1-1. One, one. And around the knees of Hearn. That's outside. 3-1 now. Great, 
3-1 runner on third. And Hearn will take her base. This is Madison Wadford as Coach Allen will discuss with her infield and pitcher. Back in just a minute here on the CAE Sports Network. That is popped up and caught. So, runner, ball is popped up in the air. Runner goes halfway to home, turn around, goes back, out is not made at third, or excuse me, at third. Then the runner advancing to second goes back. Out is not made at first. As that happens, runner from third advances and scores on the throw. So Columbia College takes the 5-4 lead on the unorthodox go-ahead run. Again, it was a little pop-out and pickle situation, but some smart base running by Columbia College gives the Koalas the lead. One out is obtained by CIU, so two out now. So 1-1 one, one is our count again after the advance on the throw after the pop out gives Col Columbia the one run lead. That is just off the glove of Creel. Runner advances over to third. And they'll say Runner interference on the runner going over there to third base. Back just a minute on the CA Sports Network.
So that Renard's interference into the side, the top of the eighth. So the Rams trailing by a run, 5-4. Will try to get back in this game, at least tie it up, or maybe get the win here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Josie Self at bat now for CIU. Self on the day. Self on the day is one for three. That hit to third. And Self will reach on the error. Another change here for CIU as Haley Wilkerson. This is no change. Help Wilkerson hit that home run that tied the game at 5 4 earlier in the bottom of the sixth inning. That is popped up and caught for out number one. So that'll bring up Macy Dry. Over in Montreat, North Carolina, CIU baseball falls 8-7 to seven in game two of that doubleheader. So they'll split with the Cavaliers. Macy try up now for the Rams. So, Self over there on first. And that's a shot to center field. We'll put two runners on for the Rams and bring up Megan Stolzenbach. Some discussion here between the catcher and her infield. Catcher is Weems. So one 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 out. Go ahead run is at first. Two one now.
Looks like Hallie Miller will be pinch hitting for Tania Ellis, who is on deck. 3-1. Columbia in danger of loading the bases here. And Stolzenbach will take her base. So the Rams now with a chance to get the win as one out, bases loaded. Hallie Miller pitch hitting for Tanai Ellis. Hallie Miller trying to give the Rams the win if she can just get this one in play deep somewhere. That's low. Again, the walk would tie things up. Swing and a miss there. So two strikes, 0-2 oh now. And there's the strikeout. So couldn't come at a bigger time for Heath as Heath picks up the strikeout. Two outs now. Caitlin Creel, all that she needs is to get it in play and reach first base and that'll tie things up. There's strike one. Oh, oh, one. Base is loaded. That is hit to right foot. Field and caught, and Columbia holds off CIU for the win. 
5-4. Reminder, we will be back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. as we stay in AAC play, taking on Kentucky Christian. Again, no baseball tomorrow. That game has been moved to Monday at Montreat. We will have track and field at Montreat and golf going on on Monday and Tuesday as well. So long from the Seattle Sports Network. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1 p.m.